what's up, I'm Nate Chen. I'm at United Carding at BWI Airport. I'm gonna give a rundown on what exactly my go-kart is and some of the differences between my drift cars and this. But before I do that, I wanted to highlight the anti-gravity automatic jump start technology. And what that means is that if your battery is dead, normally you have to go get jumper cables or put it on a charger or something like that. With anti-gravity, they have a really cool technology that basically has a brain and it shuts the battery off if it senses it's gonna fall below charge. And all you have to do to restart it is to press this button on the key fob that's included. And instead of using jumper cables or even opening the hood, it automatically jump starts the battery. And that's how that works. So let's get into some gear. So obviously it's a completely different set of tools and skills than, than drifting, but a lot of them kind of cross over. But in terms of gear that you need, I have like the very basic stuff. I just bought a remote starter. So this thing you actually hook to the crank of the cart you press a button and it starts the cart there's an onboard starter as well but you want to kind of reserve that for if you shut the car off on track and you don't have any other option to restart it you also have rim protectors these are super important it's really violent there's no suspension on these carts it's just the tire is basically your suspension so if you hit a bump and you don't have rim protection on you could break a rib and that would just be really painful you have this donut that keeps your neck from snapping back. It's kind of like a Hans device, except the Hans device, you know, you need seat belts and this cart doesn't have any seat belts or a roll bar or anything like that. And you have your helmet, suit, and all that. Right. So the go-kart, it's a OTK Tag 125cc two-stroke engine. And these are basically the same things as a shifter cart, except the shifter cart has uh, front brakes. This only has a single rotor and caliper right here. And then your water pump is actually hooked together by these cords, which is kind of interesting. You just hook them and unhook them as you run. And when you don't run, you leave them off so they don't stretch out. The tires are racing slicks. Ironically, they're actually not that expensive, especially compared to drift tires. The motor's a two-stroke 125cc IAME X30 engine. It takes 110 octane fuel mixed with oil. Oh yeah, one thing that's kind of interesting, in order to make it fair, all the carts are weighed to specify like minimum weight. And for people that are lighter, like myself, I don't necessarily make the weight on just me and the cart. At some the place that I usually go to, you have to weigh 370 with yourself and the cart included. So in order to make that weight, you add like these big lead things uh, in strategic places. So they're kind of all fixed on to the back of the seat. There's really not that much room to put the weight. So you just kind of have to try to make it balanced and figure out where you are. And, you know, racers are really focused on kind of corner balancing the cart whereas you know drifting it's kind of just throw stuff on there and, and hope it works to line the cart this kingpin controls the caster and the camber and then you have your tie rods which would be toe from the factory the settings are pretty good so i've been told and you don't actually need to mess with them versus in drifting we're always playing around with alignment setup especially, you know, both front and rear. Obviously this is a solid rear axle, so there's no rear alignment to be done. You can space the wheels out more or less by adjusting these, and that will basically increase your traction or decrease your traction. Oh, the steering wheel, this is a really cool piece of data. So this is the Micron 4, which I think is an older model, but it does a lot of data logging stuff that we just don't do usually on the grassroots level of drifting. You can see your lap times, you can see the temperature of the cart, you can see like where you are in the course, like your throttle stuff. I honestly haven't really dived into all of its capabilities yet, but that's just uh, something that's pretty cool you can do even at a grassroots level, which is exactly what this is. So I think with that being said, I'm gonna start the cart up, get it up to temperature, and then go out and have some fun.